This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust up. Yeah. Stay for a five. What can I say about this young man who's joined us right now? Yes, sir. A good music king over here, ladies and gentlemen. Praise God. Songwriter, mm. MC, mm -hmm. visionary. Mm -hmm. um, he's been doing a whole lot for the, the culture since day one. Most importantly, man, just a good man. That's what I'm Thank you, man. Just a good man. I appreciate that, You know, bro. man, this is somebody that, you know, HB, I, I, I check in on. Yes, yes. <laughs> you Sway know. will find me. Yeah, I find him, man. I've had to find him a few places. That's so dope, though. Sometimes I bump into him walking outside a restaurant if I'm in a ATL <laughs> yeah. crew. Yeah. We've done that. Yeah. Sometimes I put out the APB bat signal on him. You know, yo, where you at? Know. You know, we, we, yeah. we've done that, too. Yes, um, definitely, definitely. Um, the, that Black History Project, too, NAACP, mm -hmm. came and he, he premiered that on our show. And mm -hmm. Heather, from that moment on, you just been in love with this dude. Always, man. Like, I, we... we we talk, you know, just 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 always telling him keep it keep it going, man. That that whole project just moved me. It just moved me, man. Yeah. Every chance we get, me and Tracy even be in the studio back home singing Mandela. <laughs> hey, what is it? yeah. yeah. <laughs> A lot of people don't know I rapped that for Farrakhan at the dinner table. Oh wow! It was like so amazing. What did he? What? What, what did he? What, don't what? stop there. Yeah. What? what, what, how, what? <laughs> you can't I'm, just yeah. say that. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just keeping it one thousand. Wow. Wow. <laughs> nah, I, I yeah, you invited me. I was, we was in uh, Super Bowl. Yeah. And um, I know a lot of people probably seen the picture, but I was just on I was on the bus headed to the show with Rihanna and them, and he was like, "Yo, tell them to drop you off at a, on the side of the road." I was like, "What?" what? <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Now I'm nervous. Like, yeah. okay, got the strap. <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> so he like drop you off. So they dropped me off at like some remote gas stations in the middle of somewhere. So I call an Uber. Uber pull up on me. We drive to like this neighborhood that looked like almost a project yeah but it what it, it started turning into like a nice neighborhood and it was like you know this discreet spot and i'm like okay cool so i get out i see like all these escalades and i get out the the truck somebody greet me like who are you He's like you know what i mean so i'm like okay yay done sent me off <laughs> like come on yay so i got a clear then he, he walk you to like something to somebody and i get to the gate then he talked to somebody. And I get to the front steps. He had to talk to somebody. I get to the door. He got to talk to somebody. Like wow. it was like, well, where am I going? So when I got in, he was like, oh brother. Like it was a, another dude. He was like excited to see me. He was like, I know your music and whoop de whoop. I'm like, man, where am I at? <laughs> so he like take your shoes off and whoop de whoop. I'm like, okay, this is getting real. Right. So, so as soon as I like about to take my shoes off. I see. I walk past. I see Yay and Fair. I'm like, wow, wow, wow. Is this that, world, man? that even in itself, you see Kanye West and <laughs> Farrakhan together. You know With, how many yeah. people, uh, ex-slave owners, was turning over in their graves ah. when they started? Oh man, <laughs> swag. Yes. Yes. They got Yay and Farrakhan together. Right. Yeah, and, and Kim and Nori was there. I was like, okay, wow. this is a power meeting. So you got the you got. Easily one of the most influential people hip hop have seen mm -hmm. in the in the past ten or some odd years. Yes, mm. you got one of the most uh, informative per people that our society has seen or heard or known. Most influential and from a political side as well mm -hmm. um, in the past however many decades. Mm. And then you got the biggest pop image. In the world, all together, congregating, discussing what you know how scary that is to some people. Yeah, and then Jesus' little nephew came. Yes, you know what I mean. That's I just right. came. And Cy just High the Prince. Oh, in the back, right. You know what I mean. All right, <laughs> all right. We got Cy High the Prince here with us, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely. Uh, man, that's a great story, man. Crazy. Definitely. So. You, yeah, the Million Man March is uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, so that's a good story for yeah, it. Yeah, man. Definitely. And, and, um, and it's 20 years, man. I, I remember when it first happened. We yeah. were all kids, and yeah. and but we were all excited, yeah. you know. And uh, interesting enough, because, you know, in that Malcolm X movie had came out prior to that, uh, that Spike Lee had made, right. you right. know. And so it got a lot of people interested in what the Nation of Islam was doing because they've been reversing the, uh, the pattern. You mm -hmm. know, they've been, like, really planting seeds and, Kind of showing people a different route, right? You know? um, and so to see Minister Farrakhan today 
have that same kind of influence, man. If you ain't in the D.C. area, get to the D.C. area tomorrow. Definitely. And, and it's not just, you know, for, you know, it's specific. It's targeted towards young men of color. Mm-hmm. But, man, it's really targeted for people who want to see, you know, injustice stopped. That's Word. why the whole slogan is justice or else. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Right? What was that dinner like with Farrakhan? Did he did he say anything to you? Man, he just started telling me about myself. It was weird because Ye, Ye gets excited. Like, ever since I've been with Ye, he would, like, make me, like, rap for people because he people can't believe that this dude from Atlanta can rap this good. Yeah. So he was like, man, you should bust Farrakhan a rap. Mm-hmm. And then my head, I'm like, what can I say in this <laughs> right. environment like that won't get me in trouble? Right. Uh-huh. Squirt it out. And then, I, you know, the, the word of God came over and just said, him, give him Mandela. Mm-hmm. Come on. So I just got to going crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then he was like, oh, strong man. Duh. That's what that's what like, you one of them. I was like, yeah, I'm one of them. That's what the minister said, huh? Yeah, I'm one of them, Fair, you know. I'm not one of them. I'm one of them. them. What yeah. you think it yeah. is, though, Sal? Like, if you could just speak on it from your own personal perspective. Like, Sway mentioned, there was a time when this whole Million Man March first got started. We mm-hmm. were young, and we were all excited about it. But the music at that time, the majority of the music at that time was uh-huh. a reflection. There was P.E. There was uh, Boogie Down Productions. There was so much stuff. Uh-huh. But now we're starting to see Jeezy just sat here and was talking about he's excited about the Million Man March. Uh-huh. David Banner talks about th- yourself. So many uh-huh. people. What do you think it is now? Now, why so many of y'all are coming together and just saying something has to change? Man, you know what's crazy? It's, um, you know, I tell people this all the time. and I, I, People ask me questions about different things of this nature. I feel like we're the first generation that's making money in black, For I feel like for black people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody else, they never got to the millions and right. multi-millions. Good. They never got to sit at the table with certain individuals. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To the point where it was like, oh, okay. Like, even you look at it like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and all that, they couldn't sit with some of the people I done sat with. Right, yeah. right. That's you know what true. I mean? I mean, eat black or white. Right. Like, white people, they probably wouldn't lie. We're not sitting with them. So, yeah. Yeah. like, with me, I, being around, to me, being around Yay and going around the world, you seeing that, okay, they kind of got us trapped right here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, okay, we, y'all got us. Like, now we like, okay, y'all got us. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? At first it was like, what's going on with us? Yeah. Now we like, okay, we all got us because we haven't been outside the neighborhood. Right. Yeah. So I guess that's what it's coming to. We're actually <laughs> seeing what's going on. We're actually being able to, you know, sit with other races and other demographics of people to be able to say, okay, what's going on here ain't right. Even though this is what we came up in, that ain't right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I think that's what it is. You know what I mean? Because we were still in the neighborhood. We wouldn't be able to know. You wouldn't know. That's interesting Mm -hmm. because I I guess that can apply too because we've we've heard, you know, you hear Kanye speak out on it um, when that whole y'all got us mentality. Mm -hmm. uh, I would think it doesn't even apply with just being stuck in a box in terms of where we live in our environment, but mm-hmm. even how we think with our minds when it comes creatively. Yeah. Like, we're only supposed to be one way, do things one way, mm-hmm. right? Even how we, in our relationships, how we deal with our family. Right, You right. know, we, we stuck in that y'all got us, mm-hmm. you know, that the, the, the effects of the y'all got us. Y'all got us. Exactly. And got us, you exactly. know, stuck in a trap, right? I get that. Exactly. Um, man, you made a song called Elephant in the Room. Uh-huh. And, um... That just stirred a lot of folks up. Yeah, you know, and because in it, man, you 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 really going hard at good music artists, mm-hmm. whether it's Pusha T, mm-hmm. uh, uh, whether it's Ye himself. Yes, you know, um, even uh, Tiana Taylor. Yes, she got yeah. it too because she wouldn't let none of y'all hit it. <laughs> you know? All right, oh, you know, man. And I, and you, did you yeah. really try though? Like, yeah, was, I'm, just, I'm just keeping it one thousand. Wow. Like, what was, was your approach, man? What was your line? Or, you know? <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's all. Maybe it's not her. Maybe it's you. Yeah, it might have been me. I it was you, yo. You know, you know no, I never really tried though. Yeah, you never tried, <laughs> but you know, really I, I knew the the song was almost not a parody, but mm-hmm. you know, it was in jest. When you, I think you might have called. So it was a line where you said push it. Something about push it. T was whack. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, now it's like, nah, he ain't crazy. <laughs> did, uh, he's joking right now. <laughs> right. Not, oh man, he tripping because other ah. stuff is kind of. You you it's been, you know you've been want, waiting to come out. It seemed uh-huh, like you know right. you know those things you could see truth in all of it. Uh-huh. How truth? How much truth was in that song? And then what was its purpose? I mean, uh, let me let everybody know. Okay, I'm an artist first and foremost. You yeah. know what I mean? And to me, I felt like the record was so good 
that it felt like he was there. Because yeah. I, I, like, critiqued it to with the sound effects and different things. So you, it just was like, wow, like, you didn't just say you murdered somebody. It was like the murder scene. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the, I feel like, first of all, the artistry should be praised. Yeah. Then the second thing, it is truth behind a lot of it. You know what I mean? But it's not, like, truth where it's like, oh, man, like, I'm about to do something. It's like, when you go out to the grocery store, you, I go to... Like, unfortunately, famous yeah. in so many words. Yeah. Where that's what you get every time you go out. Like, y'all, man, when they gonna put you, out? man, to the point where kids get to going. Like, why don't you fucking like go do something? About <laughs> right, they angry. Like, and I'll be like, yo, what do you expect me to really do? Like, <laughs> so it's like, okay, that's a cool idea. What do you expect me to really do? So I put it like, if I was that kid that wanted me to do something crazy to get my uh-huh. album out. I took that approach. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, Ye, like, Ye gave me the beat. Like, a lot of people don't know he gave me the beat, told me, yo, I want to do, like, some Eminem, Dr. Dre kind of concept uh-huh. on here. So I just felt like it was fitting for, yeah. you know what I'm saying, what the situation was. But at the same time, yeah, I just feel like I, it ain't even with good music. I feel like I'm the best rapper in the music industry. Wow. That's- I've been that way since I was 15 years old. A lot of people don't know I've had been offered over 22 deals. I'm wow. talking about from Cash Money, from Ludacris, from Jeezy, to Barry Gordy, from Barry Weiss, yeah. to everybody in the world. That was what my issue was, I felt like, in my career. I tri- I skipped the trap. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because every time I went to a label, they wouldn't let me leave the, the building. Yeah. So I would get in there and be like, you know, do my little rap thing. It's like, okay, he can't leave. Yeah. Okay, yeah. work out the paperwork. We're going to get him something to eat. You know uh-huh. what I mean? That's how I used to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Move yeah. him out with yeah. some yeah. buffalo. Wings. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. not leaving. So <laughs> at that time, I would be excited. I'd be like, okay, the label about to do, 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 do. And then they look for this trap record. Like, give us one of those. Mm. I'm like, yeah. that's not what you signed me for. Like, you've never heard one of these niggas yeah. come up in your office and give you 100 bars mm-hmm. of the word of God. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's why you signed me. So let me deliver you the word of God. They be like, ah, oh, but all the okay. See, and that's when I get caught up in the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, right. yeah but, so. you, man, but whatever you've done, man, you you sustained, man. You the project Definitely. now. Lion is is that the name of the project? No, that was just the uh, acronym for the songs. Like it or not, like it or not. Okay, yeah, so right. it was like that was just a song. But my album is the Hard Way Musical still. Okay, not the Broadway, the Hard Way, the Hard Way Musical. Yes, sir. Um, and that's coming out. I'm looking to do real soon. I'm trying to do November. I got a few more uh, samples yeah. to get clear. That was the problem with Elephant in the Room. It got so big that I had a sample, and it was just like, this is just yeah. out of control. So they was trying to like get it taken down, and Sony was calling me and shit. Yeah. Well, cool. we're going to play it anyway. Yeah, All right, on. here we go. Sci High, the Princess here. Then we got, hey. we got a, a ATL, BET, Hip Hop um, award cipher that's coming up crazy. next. Wow, uh, crazy! Audio, audio push is here. Oh, Cy Irie is here. Ooh. Who else here? Scotty ATL, Sc- Scotty ATL Scotty. just walked in. <laughs> Nick Grant is here. Oh, Nick, that's my guy. Oh um, there's some spitters up in here. So yes. that's up next, man. Here it is, Cy High the Prince. Hey, <laughs> what the? <laughs> Shade 45.